Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Daniel. I'm Grandpa. I'm Matt. And we're some of the veggie boys. And girls. And we'd like to thank you for stepping by. Welcome back, everyone. It's so nice to see you. We're just getting started this morning, and I'm already starting to feel a drizzle coming down, which is wonderful. You know how much we love working in the rain. But to get started this morning, we're going to take care of our animals. Dad and Daniel will not be helping us today because they have already left for vacation, which is good because I'm happy they're out enjoying themselves during some warmer weather, which what we dealt with yesterday was some extremely cold temperatures, but it is warming up today. Got calves getting out somewhere again. In, 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 in. Now I got down here a little bit later than Matthew, so I'm not 100% sure what he's already gotten done. Right now he's grabbing a little more silage for the cattle. He's almost got all the feeders filled up. And then once we're done with feeding today, we're also gonna need to bed up some of these pens. And we might add a bale of hay. It's supposed to be pretty sloppy today. We have scattered showers from 10 a.m. this morning till 3 a.m. tomorrow morning. So uh, there is the chance we're gonna get hit with some rain today, which is unfortunate because the ground is pretty frozen. I would like the ground to stay frozen. It's probably gonna end up getting sloppy. That's a good sight. Plenty of bedding now in greenhouse number five. And since we moved over the four calves that were in greenhouse number six, there are no longer any calves in greenhouse number six. Now that's not saying we are no longer putting calves in greenhouse number six, but for the time being, we have no smaller calves that are by themselves in here. One less greenhouse to worry about. the bucket hooked up but we felt it best to put a round bale in before we started adding sawdust if we put the round bale in there it'll keep them a little more distracted that way they won't try and escape when we open up the gates I gotta be careful backing out there's always calves that sit just behind you Whenever we bed up cows, we have someone has to stand here and watch the gate because when you're in there with the skid steer loader, uh, generally the cows, they don't come out the gate unless we, we... Whenever we're bedding up cows, which is a pretty regular job on the farm because we want the cows to have nice dry places to lay down and stay clean. Whenever we do that, the gate has to be open. So then you always have to have somebody, today it's me, stand here and guard the gate. Generally the cows don't ever try to come out uh, we like to think we take pretty good care of them. They don't really see the need to go running off too much. But when you get the skid steer driving around, they get pretty excited. And once one starts going through the gate, if the others see them, they start following the leader and then you'll have all the cows out running around. Other side, everyone. Other side. No, 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 that way. Come on, let's go, let's go.
Matthew and I just got the chickens fed and the eggs collected. So that should wrap up morning chores when it comes to the animals and the farm market is not open today. So we didn't need to worry about setting that up. Now tomorrow the farm market is going to be open. So we're not going to the wholesaler today. We're gonna to be going to that tomorrow morning. So I don't need to be concerned about that. So that about wraps up the morning. So I'm pretty happy with that. As a matter of fact, I was working on filming yesterday but I started really not feeling well. It was just like all of a sudden. And well, I'm feeling a lot better today, thankfully, because it was pretty rough. Just had no energy, didn't feel like eating, which is weird for me, like really weird. But now I'm feeling like 110% better, so that's good. So yesterday for the afternoon, I didn't help Matt out too much. He took care of the animals in the evening, which I was very thankful for because it gave me a lot of time to rest. I think that's what saved my butt today. But as I mentioned earlier, our morning is basically finished, so I'm gonna head up to the house. I have some work I need to do up there, and I'll be catching you guys later on. We're currently heading back down to the farm market because we're gonna box up some cookies that we made. The other day we had a few friends over and we all made cookies together and they need to be put in boxes. Lauren and I are actually getting ready to head on vacation. We're gonna be spending time with the family and these cookies that we made are gonna be heading down with us. What's that? Up. You don't need to go up. So right here are some cookies that we have made, the Italian cookies, and here are some chocolate chip. And they are some pretty tasty cookies, if I must say. So now that we got the cookies made, we just have to put them in the containers and take them down with us. And uh, we have a very big family, as you guys know. So these cookies are not just gonna be ate by Lauren and I, I promise you that. I don't think we could eat all these cookies. But the whole family could, over time. This is a lot of cookies. Do you wanna make a thing for Dabby, Jonathan? Yeah, we can. We can make a tray for Dabby, Jonathan. Yeah. Mentioned in a previous video, the people that are going to be taking care of the animals are Uncle Albert and Petey. The farm will be in good hands while we're gone. Since our cookies are all boxed up and ready to go, it's a perfect time to start afternoon chores. I've got to get the animals fed, but before we get started on that, we need to get the eggs grated. I cannot tell you how many people have been calling the farm market asking about eggs. We must have got 10 phone calls today. It's just been a lot of phone calls. Now some of you may be wondering what I'm looking at while I'm grating eggs. One thing, I'm just trying to be focused so I don't drop eggs because you definitely do not want to be breaking eggs, especially now that they're starting to get pretty expensive. I am focusing my eye right here. There is a light underneath this little conveyor system that we have and that helps me to see any cracks. So if there's any cracks in the eggs, this light really shines them up for me. There you go, you can kind of see when an egg has a crack in it, you can see it shining through there. That's what I'm looking for. I still have one basket of eggs here left to grade. I've got an entire box filled. It is starting to get darker outside, so I wanna get the animals taken care of before it gets too dark. I mean, we do have our lights, but let's be honest here. No one likes working in the dark. So that means it's a perfect opportunity to get out here, get the cattle taken care of, get the calves taken care of, and basically just make sure that we won't have any issues for tonight. It's not gonna get too cold, but I still like to make sure that everything is taken care of before the evening. Oh my, they are enjoying that hay bale back there, aren't they? <laughs> Fresh bedding looks nice in there. Always like having that fresh bedding. You know, I get the question a lot by not just viewers, but also by my friends. Uh, do I ever get tired of doing this job? And while that's a good question, my answer is always no. I never get tired of feeding animals. One, I really enjoy taking care of the animals. It's one of my favorite things to do. Two, something is always happening. Something exciting. There's always cattle running around, there's something that needs to be moved. And three, which I kind of think this just goes in with number one, I just love taking care of the animals. I love this job. While I was preparing the milk, Matthew had fed grain for the calves. So that means the calves are all finished for tonight. The only thing left to do is finish up that last basket of eggs, which will take no time at all. And that should about wrap it up for the day. We've got the farm market. <laughs> Farm market's been closed. I didn't close up the farm market. So what's gonna be happening next is I'm actually gonna be heading on vacation. I leave tonight. But anyway, now that we're up at the house, it looks like we're having stir fry or steak fajita for lunch. 
Ooh, that looks pretty good. We now have got everybody over here, so that means this is where we're gonna end the video today. I would like to thank everyone for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Buh bye bye Buh bye Buh bye Buh bye Buh bye